Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Roan. The wet weather is continuing across large parts of New South Wales today with a natural disaster now declared. A severe weather warning for damaging winds and heavy rain remains in place from Sydney all the way north to Newcastle with strong winds bringing down power lines and trees and a stack of roads flooded. The system is moving north today with the central coast and Hunter regions to cop the brunt of it. The SES's Daniel Osborne says their focus is still on Sydney's northwest where evacuation orders remain in Place. At the moment, our particular focus is on that McGrath's Hill area um, and around the uh, Hawkesbury uh, River around the Windsor area. Uh, we're expecting uh, potentially further rises to occur there later this morning. The SES has responded to nearly 5,000 calls for help since the weekend. There is some good news, though, with the Bureau's Helen Reid saying there's light at the end of the tunnel. We are hoping that the, um, the heaviest rain is now behind us, but we will still see it to be quite a wet day still a bit windy and we do have um, warnings still current for heavy rainfall um, as well. At least six people have been killed in a mass shooting at a 4th of July parade in Chicago. Deputy Chief Chris Cavelli from Highland Park Police says they found the weapon used but are yet to make any arrests. The suspect is currently described as a male white, approximately 18 to 20 years old, with longer black hair, a small build and wearing a white or blue t-shirt. A nervous wait for mortgage holders with the Reserve Bank tipped to hike interest rates again today. The RBA expected to lift the official cash rate for a third consecutive month. Most experts are tipping a rise of between a quarter and half a percent. ATAGI will meet today to decide if we need a fourth dose of COVID vaccine. It comes as two new variants show resistance to previous vaccines. More targeted vaccine formulas are currently in development, with Australia recording around 30,000 new cases daily. And the COVID pandemic is being blamed for a significant drop in organ donation. Lucinda Barry from the Organ and Tissue Authority says the donor wait list has blown out to an all-time high. It doesn't matter how old you are, your lifestyle or how healthy you are, you can all still register as an organ and tissue donor, even if you've had COVID. To sport, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply. And remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. Aussies Nick Kyrgios and Isla Tomlanovic are into the quarters at Wimbledon. Fellow Aussie Alex Demonor was stunned, though, after his opponent came from two sets down to snag a win. To AFL, the Lions' Eric Hipwood will front up at the tribunal tonight, charged over a controversial incident during last Thursday night's win over the Bulldogs. And the Blues are heading to King. Cliff as they prepare for next week's Origin Decider. And for even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. In entertainment news, and Adele has paused her London concert after spotting a fan in trouble. She was getting ready to perform Skyfall when she stopped and alerted security before starting over again. And author Stephen King has revealed there's only ever been one movie he's walked out of and it wasn't an adaptation of one of his books. Apparently, 2007's Transformers was bad enough to make him get up and leave. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.